Hi everyone, Adriana Jimenez with Fino Boxing here with Tom Loeffler of K2 Promotions, promoter of Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Uh, I'd like to start off, Tom, we have this great fight with Kilbrook, September 10th in London. Um, we were expecting, you know, different fighters, some fights fall through. How did this come about? I tell you, Adriana, we were, we were expecting uh, a different fight also. You know, we were, we were hoping for the Canelo fight. Then we were uh, looking to unify with uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, then we were looking to fight uh, Eubank Jr. And that's why we, uh, you know, it keeps going back to how much credit we give to the heart of, uh, of Kel Brook and, and the ability of Eddie Hearn to get this fight signed. We basically took the same contract that was offered to other fighters that Eddie offered to to uh, to uh, to Eubank and uh, and Kelbrook signed the deal and this has turned out to be you know one of the most talked about fights of the year and selling out the arena in one day it's going to be successful on uh, Sky Bay Per View I think it's uh, it's going to turn out to be a great event not only uh, the Triple G Kelbrook fight but Eddie has two other uh, world title fights planned in the O2 arena. And on the HBO broadcast over here, we got uh, two other undefeated champions, Chocolatito Gonzalez versus uh, Carlos Cuadras. You know, Chocolatito's moving up to his fourth weight division. Cuadras is undefeated, WBC 115 pound champion. And then you got the great rematch between Kamagai and Soto, Soto Carras. So, you know, the fans on HBO, the viewers on HBO are going to see a triple header on regular HBO that's uh, going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of talent. And I think uh, something that the, the fans are going to really look forward to. And we've seen Gennady fight all over the world. And in each and every case, you know, he has a huge draw and a huge following of fans. What is it about him that has that star power? You know, he's universally liked. He has that excitement in the ring. I, I, I like to say it's a, the Mike Tyson effect. You know, when Tyson was knocking everybody out, people weren't complaining how quick he was knocking guys out. It was just that he was like, had knockout after knockout after knockout. People saw they wanted to see an exciting fight. And Gennady is the same way. He has 22 knockouts in a row. Um, so not only is he exciting in the ring, but he's likable, he's respectful, and he's a good ambassador for the sport of boxing. And that's what the fans appreciate, and that's why they support him, whether it's over in Kazakhstan, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in, in the United States. Um, or in Mexico, it's uh, he's a fan favorite, and he's uh, he appreciates the fans, and I think the fans realize uh, his appreciation of them and the fact that uh, he'll fight anyone, anyone, anywhere, and, and that's what makes him uh, unique to the sport of boxing. How difficult and frustrating is it to you know not, not be able to get um, of the fights or the fights that you want because not everyone wants to get in the ring with them. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's a frustrating process, you know, not, nor, uh, it's my job to look forward. Um, so we have the September 10th uh, date plan, Gennady and Abel are going to be focused 100% on Kell Brook. My job is to look forward to see who else is possible, uh, you know, which location, which uh, opponents, which TV, you know, it's going to be on, it's going to be on uh, Sky in, in, the, in the UK, um, naturally on, uh, on HBO over here, but uh, there's a lot of factors that go into making a fight, and uh, it's it's a frustrating process. But I think we're finally gonna. I think guys finally at a level where we can get the bigger name fights in the ring with them because they realize when they fight Triple G now, it becomes one of the biggest events uh, in the in the sport of boxing.